Okay, R129 uh, Mercedes uh, front strut mount or shock mount. It's not really a shock, it's not really a strut, it's kind of both. I'm going to call it a strut mount uh, just because it's more of a strut mount than a shock mount, but either way, it's not exactly a strut or a shock, it is both. Um, anyway, uh, da, 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 this also applies to the, I think, 90 to 1993 W124 chassis is basically the same, uh, exactly, actually the same part. Um, and replacing them is going to be essentially the same. You'll notice the cracking around the the rubber on the ends of the, or on the sides. It's the same on the other side. It's all cracked around the mount. If this splits, uh, it's a remote possibility, but there is a possibility that the strut could, uh, you know, go up and hit the hood, causing a lot of damage, but... Um, very very remote possibility but if you hit a hard enough bump and this thing was gone um, it could do it so uh, they're pretty cheap I uh, just got the Moog parts um, that was a Moog replacement and it was 35 bucks um, so I got both sides I'm going to be doing them uh, pretty simple you don't really have to do it. You, you can use your car jack to do this because uh, you don't have to go under the car you don't have to do much of anything um, 7 mil bolt on the top uh, seven millimeter, sorry, Allen key with a 13 sixteenths or 11 sixteenths. Da, 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 da. Mine was a 13 sixteenths, which equates to about 21 millimeters uh, for a metric socket. But uh, I didn't need to hold my center bolt in place. Uh, this one came off easy enough. I used an air tool, so I kind of cheated. Um, but if you do need to hold this in place, it is a seven millimeter Allen headed socket. You can hold that in place while you're loosening it. Three 13 millimeter nuts holding the mount in, and we're going to take all these off, and then all you're going to have to do is jack up the car. This will lower down, uh, leave the wheel on the ground, because it's just going to, you're just going to jack it up until the, the, the strut lowers out, and then you're just going to put the new mount on from underneath. Just reach above the tire and do it. So anyway, I'm describing what I'm going to do now, and I'll show you in a few seconds. Okay, sorry, I'm just going to show you how to, uh, uh, the top retainer plate here. Um, when this, uh, once you get the nuts all off, this took a matter of less than a minute taking all the bolts off. Uh, rotate and lift this up out of the way. And now you can actually push down on the shock, strut, whichever. And now we're just going to jack this up, all the bolts are off, jack this up, and this is going to fall out. Um, we're going to pull the shock down by hand and then uh, just swap mounts. It's, it's that simple. And I'll do it in two seconds. Now, in the spirit of fairness, uh, some people might not have a floor jack. You don't even need one. This is, you know, the factory jack. Actually, this one isn't even my factory jack. This is the one from an old, oh, God, 81 Mercedes W123 300D that I had 20 years ago. Um, and it's the same jack. They work perfectly. Um, so I'm going to be jacking up with this. All I'm going to be doing is cranking it up until that strut falls, comes out. Okay, you know what? I'm going to crank this for a few minutes. <laughs> this thing's got a long winding process on it. So, you guys probably don't want to watch me do this, so I'm going to crank it up and I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, jacked up wheel still on the ground, and from underneath you can see that I pulled the boot down so you can see around the, the strut mount, and we're simply going to, I put this uh, extension, socket extension back in just so it's easier to push down, you can see past my hand as I'm doing this. I'm just going to push down and pull it out. Now the shock's going to spring back on you, so you're going to have to hold this down while you pull the old one out and uh, the new one in. And I'm not going to be able to. Am I going to be able to film this while I do it? Let's try it. <laughs> See if that camera will stay there. I'll get my new one all ready so I can try and press to change with this real quick.
stiff shock. <laughs> it is hard to do this all at once, but it's not super difficult. Come on, baby. Just the shaft is very slippery and it's cold out. <laughs> So it's hard to grab onto. See, told you that camera wasn't going to try and stay. Come on, stay there. I can't get a good grip on this top of the strut. <laughs> Wow, it is a really stiff shock and it is really sliding through my hand. Come on. Anyway, you get the picture of what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this with the camera out of the way because I need to kind of get my elbow up where the camera is. So I'll be there back in two seconds. Okay, this was a tiny bit of a pain because my shocks are super, super stiff. Um, they are aftermarket and they are stiffer than factory shock so pushing this sucker down and holding it while I pulled slip this off was a bit of a pain in the ass but I found an easier way around it um, I just used a long uh, yeah, whatever extension you can get that will fit into the middle of the hole on the strut and push it down through the strut mount hold it down there and then slip the mount up I'm doing this straight through the hole slip the strut mount up and then once it's up and cleared pop it all the way out now on top of the shock there's also going to be don't forget to to take out the rubber um bump stop out of here you're going to need that in the new one unless your kit came with new ones you can get kits with the new ones and new boots and everything my boots and stuff are fine um but remember these shocks uh, mercedes has always used really soft springs and really stiff shocks that's how they get good ride compliance and um at the same time get good handling and these shocks are among the stiffest I've ever had to push in. Uh, unbelievable. These things were nuts. But anyway, that's how you do it. Now, once I've got this on, I'm just going to pull the bump stop off, and I'm going to swap the other one around. And I'll show you old to new. Ah, where's my new one? There we go. Old versus new. This is probably the original one, uh, I would suspect. Like I said, this car's got 55,000 Ks. It's... I don't know anybody ever replaced this. Uh, anyway, Rock Auto, 35 bucks a piece. Um, da -da 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 -da, uh, doesn't if you have the adjustable uh, uh, suspension, this is not the same mount. Uh, it's basically the same procedure, except for there's going to be a, hi a um, hydraulic line off the top. Is it hydraulic or pneumatic? I don't know which one it is. It's either hydraulic or pneumatic. There's a little line coming off the top, and it's different. Uses a different mount, uh, and this is just reverse of. Uh, of pulling it out to put it back in. So I'm about 10 minutes in right now. I am losing light. It's late at night. I work when I can. That's about it. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't do this when it was really bright today. But, uh, you know, I'm sure you get the gist of this. Any questions, uh, let me know. Um, don't tighten, uh, don't do the final tightening of the, the bolts and stuff until the suspension is firmly on the ground and uh, the, the car's back on the tires uh, and sitting on all the uh, all the weights still back on the suspension then tighten the three bolts up and tighten the center up and you'll be fine and again you can use your mercedes jack or use one from a 40 year old mercedes which is what i'm using right now and it will do the job just fine thanks okay it's amazing how much light i've lost here in like 15 minutes but this is this is about 15 minutes to this point um anyway uh new strut is in the jack is off because it's jacked down it's on the wheels uh wheels pointing straight and now you can Tighten everything back up. Excuse my sniffling. It's like 30 degrees out here today. Ah, me and cold don't get along. And I don't know where I put the top strut bar. I put it somewhere. Oh, the rear mount. There we go. Okay, now it's just all that's left is to bolt it back up. 
uh, again, this is about a 15 minute job and uh, no tire removal, no wheel removal, nothing. Uh, this is also uh, the W124, I think I mentioned it, W124 chassis is very, very similar. Actually uses the same mount uh, from 1993, but uh, the old W124 is, is almost identical. Um, what else can I say? Um, yeah, this could cause some vibration in your steering wheel at uh, at high speeds on the highway. It can cause uneven tire wear and alignment problems and stuff. So these aren't expensive. Uh, do it. Thanks for watching.